Mental Health Monday on KCAL 9 is sponsored by Dignity Health. Hello, human kindness. Isolation, shame, trauma, and marginalization can all be part of the high school experience. But in this week's Mental Health Monday segment, a student-led group in Villa Park is working to solve those problems for themselves and their community. Here's KCAL 9's Rachel Kim. My back says I love you, and what it symbolizes is that you're loved. At Villa Park High School in Orange County, Jemima Brew and more than two dozen fellow students spent part of the weekend on campus. Their mission? Hand-paint tote bags headed for marginalized neighbors alone and in need. I want you to know that I made this for you to symbolize that you're loved by me and by everyone around you. Jemima and her fellow painters are members of Villa Park's National Alliance for Mental Illness, or NAMI Club. Christina Diop is president. Our purpose as a club is to help educate students about different types of mental illnesses, as well as provide resources to students who are uh, going through uh, mental health struggles. I don't even think my parents knew how much I was struggling. 12th grader Elizabeth Duncan joined the club to cope with losses she suffered during the pandemic. Before COVID, we see so many people during school that you're like, oh, I am like so popular. But once learning went remote, friendships seemed to evaporate. A really close friend stopped talking to me where I would text her, be like, hey, how are you? And she would not really respond. So I think it got affected that I was like, do I even have close, close friends of my own? For Elizabeth, it's been therapeutic to safely share her story and help other students share theirs. Blue Shield of California helps fund NAMI activities on 98 high school campuses. Our goal is to uh, stop the stigma on mental health among the youth. And this is the best, the great way to do this. It can be hard to open up. For Christina, it's just a fear of being degraded. Her own challenge began in ninth grade. A little trauma that I had near the end of my freshman year, which really took a deep toll on me. And as a Asian American who has parents who are immigrants, it was really hard for me to come out to them. While terrified to talk, I felt that if I just kept it in for a longer time that I was gonna do something to myself. And I didn't want that to happen. Fellow NAMI members gave her the confidence to confide in an adult, who then helped her navigate a conversation with her parents. And now? I'm doing all right. Since joining the club last fall, Jemima's feelings of isolation have lifted. Her focus now, work with her peers to awaken and uplift others. They taught me how to feel loved and feel like I'm not the only one feeling like this. We can just all come together as a society and help each other. Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. Another terrific program. I'm so glad we can highlight it here because right. obviously the need is great out there right. in the high school community. And for those girls, Elizabeth, Christina, for being mm -hmm. so open and honest and brave. Yeah. And brave. Yeah. I see you. I hear you. Good job, yeah, girls. Good job, ladies.